Hello and welcome back in this lesson where I want to show you something about the first vertex of a pad inside of Adobe After Effects. Let me maybe quickly create a new composition so I illustrate this feature better. Now I will make two shapes. I'll hold the left alt or option key if you are on the Mac. Now I also want a third shape, maybe a star to morph those shapes into the star. I make a star. It doesn't really matter where I make it. I just want to open the Polystar 1 the path, click a keyframe here and copy this little keyframe which will hold the informations about this little shape. Okay, I have it copied inside of my clipboard and let me now open the rectangles, both rectangles, their path and set the keyframe at the beginning and the keyframe here. Let me go to two seconds, click on the path, control V here to paste the star of course this star should be on the right side and go to this path and also control V in this point. So now both will morph from the rectangle to the star and watch now something very important. You see those four points which are creating this path. One of those points has not only one rectangle but has another rectangle around it. This is the first vertex of this shape. You can change the first vertex by clicking on the pad, selecting another point, right clicking, mask and shape path and set the first vertex here. Now what difference does it make? It makes a really big difference because when the shape is morphing from one path to another path, the first vertex must always finish where the next vertex is. So on this shape the vertex is here on the top and now watch what happens. Both of these objects have different first vertexes and this is causing a completely different animation. Do you see? We have both the same shapes. I have only changed the first vertex inside of the first shape and the animation is completely different. So this is something very important to keep in mind. Let's say I don't want such an extensive animation. I remember that the first vertex is here down. So maybe let's not make it so complicated. And I want to set the first vertex of this star also here on the bottom. I select the path, right click, mask and shape path, set first vertex here. Now the animation will not be as complicated as before because this first vertex is shifting only just a little bit to the side. It doesn't have to go all the way up. This is something very important to know while working with paths, especially in an animation software like Adobe After Effects. Now, as you remember, we can go, for example, back here. And if you do not like the motion of the morphing, well, you might want to check if the vertexes are properly. Well, in this particular case, I very like this morphing. It has a nice motion into it and it looks really like morphing. But if I would like just for fun to change something up, let me maybe copy this shape and we will watch the differences. I press quickly U, I press on the second one. Maybe let me also reposition it so they don't cover each other up. Let me quickly open up the shape so I have everything open. I select the path and maybe instead of this point here, on the vertex, I make this point completely down bottom here. This will be most likely a very weird animation, but it doesn't matter. We only want to see what happens. Well, already the animation is completely different. You can argue which one is better, but just for the sake of experimentation and knowledge, this is something important to remember. If you want to learn how to morph objects with multiple shapes, which is a little bit more difficult, but it's definitely very interesting, please head over to the next lesson where I will teach you all the necessary tricks to perform this morphing.